Yellowstone National Park could be sitting on a time bomb. There is a super volcano underneath the national treasure. The ground is just so saturated, and just beyond that is the Yellowstone River. That is still very swollen. Yellowstone National Park, a stunning natural wonder, is revealing a seismic secret that's making scientists pay close attention. Numerous earthquakes have occurred, raising concerns about a potential significant eruption or even more mysterious forces at work beneath the geysers and hot springs. Join us as we explore the recent tremors, deciphering their implications for Yellowstone and perhaps the entire world. Something extraordinary is unfolding and you'll want to know what scientists have found. But before we delve into the recent seismic activities, let's understand the background of Yellowstone National Park. Established in 1872, it's not just the first national park in the United States, but the world. Spanning over 2.2 million acres across three states, it's a vast wilderness with geysers, hot springs, and diverse wildlife. Beneath this serene landscape lies a volcanic caldera, one of the largest active volcanic systems globally, known as the Yellowstone Caldera. It's part of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, home to geysers like Old Faithful. As a supervolcano, its eruptions can be immensely powerful, with the most recent major one occurring around 640,000 years ago. Recent studies have unveiled a surprising revelation. There are not one, but two magma chambers beneath Yellowstone. The first, discovered in the 1980s, is about 10 kilometers below the surface, holding about 10,000 cubic kilometers of molten material. Deeper still, between 20 and 50 kilometers, lies a second magma chamber, 4.5 times larger. This groundbreaking discovery means that the park's geothermal features can be continuously fueled. Now let's talk about the recent seismic activities in Yellowstone. Within just 12 hours, the northern part of Yellowstone Lake experienced a series of tremors, starting with a magnitude 0.7 quake and followed by at least 60 more, ranging from magnitude 0.1 to 3.7. While earthquakes in Yellowstone aren't unusual, this swarm has reignited discussions about the possibility of a significant event. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active regions in the US, experiencing between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes annually. While most are minor, the recent swarm has raised concerns about the potential for a more significant event. A super eruption at Yellowstone would have catastrophic consequences, affecting a large portion of the US and posing substantial risks to nearby communities. The recent seismic activities in Yellowstone are a stark reminder of the powerful forces beneath the park's surface. Stay tuned as we explore the potential implications and why scientists are closely monitoring this seismic activity. And uh, one of the most worrying things about a Yellowstone eruption is the widespread ash fall. A significant eruption could shoot a lot of ash, thousands of cubic kilometers, into the sky, covering huge areas of North America. According to a map, places like Missouri and Texas might get more than 10 centimeters of ash, while spots closer to Yellowstone could end up buried under several meters of it. On top of that, the massive amount of volcanic gases and aerosols released could really mess with the global climate. Stuff like sulfur dioxide and other gases might create a sort of aerosol veil in the sky, reflecting sunlight and causing a major cool down on Earth's surface. One study even says a super eruption from Yellowstone could drop global temperatures by up to 12 degrees Celsius for several years. This volcanic winter could mess with weather patterns, mess up farming, and cause food shortages in different parts of the world. So when facing a possible eruption, we need to look at what we've learned from past volcanic events to figure out how to handle the risks 
and make things safer. Now let's get into the question of whether the supervolcano is waking up, or maybe these shakes are just the Earth's way of saying, hey, I'm still a powerful and unpredictable force. To figure this out, we've got to dig into the geological stuff happening in Yellowstone. The park is sitting on top of a hotspot, which is like a blob of super hot rock that's rising up from the Earth's mantle. This hotspot is what powers the park's geothermal features and all the volcanic action in the area. And Yellowstone's hotspot is one of the few that's under a continental crust instead of an oceanic one. The recent bunch of earthquakes near the eastern edge of the Yellowstone caldera, where the last major eruption happened, has put this geological wonder back in the spotlight. People are wondering if this is a sign of something bigger about to go down. Scientists are all over the data, looking for patterns and hints that things might be changing in the volcanic system. The University of Utah seismograph stations and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory are saying not to worry too much. They think these recent shakes are probably linked to fluids and gases moving beneath the surface. Pretty normal stuff in such a geologically busy area. Those geysers and hot springs you see in the park aren't just there for show. They're telling us about the crazy activity going on under the surface. Hydrothermal explosions are one way this activity shows itself. These explosions happen when super hot water trapped below the Earth's surface turns into steam real quick, causing a big eruption. In Yellowstone, smaller hydrothermal explosions like unexpectedly large or weird geyser events happen almost every year and can be risky for anyone close by. There was a hydrothermal explosion at Porkchop Geyser in 1989, and you can still see the rock debris around the central spring. The most recent big explosion happened inside the park just 3,000 years ago. Then there's the danger of landslides in the area. The land isn't too stable, and when you add in weathering and earthquakes, you get the potential for sudden, massive landslides. These landslides could block roads and trails, cut off parts of the park, and put hikers and drivers in danger. So, while the Earth's making moves beneath Yellowstone, scientists are keeping a close eye on things to keep us all safe. These geological activities can get even trickier with earthquakes shaking things up. Earthquakes can mess with geysers, hot springs, and even cause landslides. Now let's dig into Yellowstone's past and check out one major earthquake, the Hebgen Lake earthquake. This one was a whopper with a magnitude of 7.5, making it the biggest quake ever recorded in the area. The quake set off massive landslides, one of which blocked the Madison River and created Quake Lake. Imagine this landslide zooming down at around 100 miles per hour, carrying around 80 million tons of rock, soil, and debris. It plowed into the Madison River Canyon, burying a campground and causing 28 deaths. Roads, bridges, and buildings were destroyed or severely damaged, not just close to the quake, but also in more distant spots. Even Yellowstone National Park felt the hit, messing with visitor access and park operations for a while. The quake also had a wild effect on Yellowstone's geothermal features. Geysers that were quiet for ages suddenly erupted, and the patterns of others went haywire. Take the famous Old Faithful Geyser, for example. Its usual eruption routine got all mixed up, and new hot springs and fumaroles popped up in the park. This whole event made everyone rethink the seismic risks in the Yellowstone region, leading to major changes in how we keep an eye on things and get ready for trouble. The US Geological Survey and other groups stepped up their monitoring game, updating building codes and emergency response plans based on what they learned. While scientists keep studying Yellowstone's wonders, the world is eagerly waiting to see what other secrets might pop up. And guess what? Some clues might be hidden in Yellowstone's wildlife. From dense forests to open meadows, and from steaming geysers to icy rivers, the park is home to all kinds of plants and animals. But here's the twist. 
strange stuff is going on lately. Visitors are reporting odd run-ins with wildlife, especially bison. Just two weeks back, a woman got hurt by a bison despite repeated warnings. Then, last week, a woman was found dead on the Buttermilk Trail, eight miles from West Yellowstone. Investigators spotted grizzly bear tracks at the scene, suggesting a fatal bear encounter. The areas closed until August 25th for both human and bear safety, and investigations are still ongoing. Now the big question is whether there's a link between these wildlife behaviors and the recent earthquakes. Some experts think animals might be sensing something we can't. Animals have a history of acting weird before earthquakes. For example, dogs might bark a lot, or cats might go into hiding. In Yellowstone, the connection could be even more intense. The park's wildlife has lived with its geothermal features and earthquakes for thousands of years, and bison, in particular, have a deep connection to the land. They use the park's geothermal areas in winter for warmth, and their migratory patterns are influenced by the region's geological features. So, are these behavior changes a response to shifts in the underground magma chambers? Are animals picking up on vibrations or changes in the environment that we can't sense? Scientists are on the case, looking for links between animal behavior and seismic data. The actions of animals, the flow of rivers, geyser eruptions and earthquake rumbles are all connected in ways we're just starting to figure out. The threat of an earthquake or volcanic eruption in this super active region is a big deal and authorities are going all out to understand, monitor, and lower the risks. A fresh plan for monitoring Yellowstone's volcano and earthquakes put out by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, and other partners aims to boost monitoring and assess hazards in the region. The plan gives us the lowdown on existing and planned monitoring systems, focusing on two types, backbone monitoring and hydrothermal monitoring. Backbone monitoring means the surveillance network that's been keeping an eye on seismic activities, ground deformation, and other geological stuff in the Yellowstone Plateau region. There are seismometers, GPS stations, and other instruments set up all over the park to give us real-time data on what's going on below the surface. The plan says this system will get even better over the next 10 years. Then there's hydrothermal monitoring, a new part of the plan. This will track what's happening in Yellowstone's thermal and geyser basins. By keeping tabs on temperature, pressure, water chemistry, and other factors in these basins, the plan aims to clue us in on the hydrothermal system's behavior and catch any weird changes that might mean something's about to go down. The University of Wyoming and other scientific groups like the US Geological Survey and the National Park Service are all in on this monitoring effort. It shows just how crucial it is to get a handle on the geological risks in the Yellowstone Plateau region. Thanks for tuning into this episode, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Save Earth Now.